I'm attempting to put together the sneaker collection of my dreams, but there's only one problem. I don't have thousands of dollars to shill out on Grail sneakers. So in this series, I'm attempting to build that collection for free by going to thrift stores, buy, sell, trade stores, and retail stores looking for underpriced shoes to then resell online for a profit and use that profit to fund the sneaker collection. So far, we've added the origin story Jordan 1s to the collection, but here in season two, we're going for 10 Grail sneakers. We finished off episode one with $292.07 in our sneaker collection fund, but since then we've managed to sell the LeBrons and the Air Force Ones that we picked up in episode one. Starting with the Air Force Ones, they sold for $58 on eBay after all of our fees were adding $52.39 back into the sneaker fund. And for the LeBrons, they sold for $67.15 and after those fees, we're adding $54.92 back into the sneaker fund. So we're kicking off this week with a healthy sneaker fund budget of $399.38 to do some sourcing with this week. So with that being said, let's get out to some thrift stores. Are you recording? Oh, it's on. Okay. So <laughs> we just pulled up to uh, to a Goodwill. We've got pretty much exactly $400 in our sneaker fund. So let's let's hop inside and see if we can find some. What are you smirking at? Uh, oh, nothing. Carly's judging my, uh, my, <laughs> my on-camera ability here. Um, we're going to hop inside and see if we can find some profitable shoes. So let's, let's get after it. Lit. Oh, I, I got excited for a second, but I just noticed that they are kind of broken right there. Yes. Rip. And they're $25. So, okay. I, I told Carly to turn that camera on so quick. I thought we had a little coming, <laughs> but I misjudged. All right, so we might uh, we might pick up some dress shoes to add to the, the fund. These are, first off, Carly's learning this. What, are, what, what design is this? Um, this is a derby. Derby. Wingtip. Yep. Broguing. Wow, look at that. Uh, they're $20 and the brand is Magnani. Um, these have always sold really fast for me, so I think we're going to grab these. Should turn around into like $60, $70 quick. I got some Air Max 97s here, but you know, they're, they're worn out and they're 20 bucks. So we're going to leave those. And some uh, Ultra Boosts. New Balance up here. And some tennis shoes. Uh, but it's a lower end model and they're worn out. Vibram, some Merrells for $20. Got some, uh, I don't know, Team Jordan, Jordan something's gonna leave those behind. Turn around to the women's and I spot some Hoka's. This is an old model. It's in good condition. And they're only $15. Clifton 4. They're on like 9 So, uh, like I said, older model, but for $15. I think they're going Hey. Should, should I get these? Can you please? <laughs> I'd be upset if you didn't. All right, I got some Air Max 2017s, 2016, something like that. They're 20 bucks. They're in really good condition. They're women's. I might get these just because of the condition, you know? $20 for these. Good colorway. I like the colors. I like the colors. We're adding to, the, adding to our little pile here. Got some Air Max sequins for 15. These just don't do very well. I got some Zoom Freaks here for uh, $25, unfortunately. They're like a men's size seven, men's size eight, so not terrible, but this model just does not sell very well, so we're leaving those guys behind. Good color right there. Found some uh, Air Force One SF Air Force Ones. I don't know what these are called, but uh, yeah, SF Air Force One. It's right there on the tongue. They are $15, but they just got you know too much wear on them, so we're gonna leave these two. We are looking behind the counter to see if we wanna look at any shoes. Um, not really seeing anything stand out to me, if I'm being honest with you. This one likes to price this stuff up really, really expensive. Mm -hmm. I'm curious about those boots, those like mountaineering boots down there. The blue ones? Yeah. Okay, so we've been standing over here waiting for an employee to help us for quite a while, and you know, not really seeing any. I think we made it to the point where I just gotta go grab them. They're nice. I like the blue. Yeah. Oh, I just noticed they're cracking right here. Mm -hmm. So, okay, never mind. That was all for nothing. <laughs> so, uh, three pairs at stop number one. Uh, I can't remember how much we spent. I should have uh, known that before I hit record. Fifty-eight dollars. So just under sixty bucks. So that means we just we got just over three hundred and forty still in the fund. So let's go hit some more stores. Be excited. I'm so excited. All right, before we hop into store number two, last episode I told you I was gonna let you know what the 10 sneakers we're working towards in season two was, and I got those right behind me. But, but first, we got a nice shelf to display our collection on. The three sneakers that we got in season one are sitting there nice and proud. It's a small collection, but hey, we're, we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. That brings me to our uh, Into the Sneakerverse Grail poster. 
I guess. I don't know. I had a nice little art project today. Carly made fun of me, so go just just please roast Carly down in the comments for having like such a lack of fun in her. I thought this was a perfect use of my time. Few highlights. Obviously, I told you we're working towards the chunky donkeys. We're not going in any particular order, but those are the most expensive. They're sitting up at the top of the list. The Watherspoon Air Max 197s are iconic. I knew I wanted some Kobe's, couldn't quite decide between the Grinches and the Mambasitas, but I thought the Mambasitas were just a little bit more clean. I want to wear my collection, so I gotta I gotta pick stuff that I'm actually going to wear. Obviously, the Across the Spider-Verse Jordan 1s is a must. I mean, we, we're calling this into the sneaker verse based on the origin story Jordan 1s that we worked up to in season one. So it's it just makes sense to have that one on the list as well. I knew I wanted a pair of New Balances, so I went with the Jound New Balance 990 V3s in the Montreal colorway. I think it's a super clean shoe. I really genuinely want this shoe in my collection, but the Jound New Balances are just so expensive. This is a thousand dollar shoe. So if I find another pair of New Balances that I, I like similar to that one, we might replace those, but I'm putting that as my, my ambitious goal on the board. Uh, same situation though with Jordan 3s, Jordan 4s, and Jordan 11s. I knew I wanted one of each silhouette, went with something that was a little challenging for the series, for the sake of the series, but still shoes that I would love to have in my collection. The Fragment Jordan 3s, the Ama Manier Jordan 5s, and the Derek Jeter 11 lows. I This one I'm actually excited for. Derek Jeter, favorite baseball player growing up as a kid. So the fact that he's got a pair of Jordan 11 lows is perfect. I knew I wanted a pair of Yeezys, so I went with the Yeezy 700 Inertias. I love the colorway, I love that silhouette. And this one, this is just poetic. I had to put this in here. Since we're reselling to save up for our collection, I had to have the Air Jordan 1 not for resell. I don't like the yellow colorway, so I went with the red. I think it's uh, just a little bit more clean and it helps us out. That one's a little cheaper. So this is what we're working towards in season two. It's not limited to that. As you see in season one, we picked up a couple of other sneakers on the way. So if we find anything out there in the wild that I'm a fan of, we want to put on the sneaker collection, we're picking those up. But without me rambling on any further, let's get back into the sneaker verse. Hey, this floor number two. We rarely come here, but we came last week and did really good. So I'm hoping for a little repeat of that. Me too. Me too. <laughs> and report. Oh wait, is that cut? You do that it's before cut. you start recording? I think you do it. I have anyway. no idea. Anyway, we've got some adrenaline 22s. They're only 11 bucks. They're dirty, but the washing machine is gonna clean these things up perfectly. Uh, they got they got good tread. They're women's 11. I thought these were men's. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna think about these. I'm gonna think about them. Thought we had something here. Um, these dress shoes are Samuel Hubbard. They're in good condition. They're only 20 bucks. They're missing the insoles, and I really don't want to deal with that, especially with dress shoes. So I'm gonna leave these behind. But if you come across Samuel Hubbard, it's a great brand. Great brand. Probably gonna. Those are probably something like 50 to 60 dollars. But a good one to know. Oh, I found these shoes. What are those? No, Nikes. Nike what? Nike. Nike. Are they dunk lows? They are dunk lows. Wow. So we got a pair of Nike dunk lows. I've never seen this model before. They're youth size seven. They're 15 bucks. They're a little worn on the bottom. We're not gonna leave dunks. Why I like not? the colors a lot. Yeah. What do we do? Two pairs. Have That's four. Two you? pairs. I've had enough camera time for my life. All right. Um, yeah. So Ethan called me while we were in there. So shout out Ethan for uh, disrupting our recording. <laughs> we, I'm just kidding, buddy. Uh, we only got two pairs there. The, uh, the Nike dunk lows. They're nothing crazy. They're a little worn and they're a kid size, but I mean, they'll still sell for like 35 bucks at least plus shipping. And, um, oh, I, I looked up the Brooks, the, okay. uh, the women's 11 and they actually have a pretty decent sell through rate. So since they were in good condition, I went and picked those up for 11 bucks. So we spent 2780. So we're down to like 310 bucks. On to the next one. Made it to store number three. I don't know where I've been, but this is not what this store looked like last time I was here. They painted the outside, gave it a little, little upgrade here. It's looking nice. And it's like, I wish I had that Goodwill money. All right, so we found these like LeBron like Safari pack. I don't, I don't know what they're called, but they are forty dollars, and they're about worn through the heel, unfortunately. So leaving those behind. Taxon, like just some Flynet free runs, thirty dollars. So off to a poor start. Okay, speaking of free runs, they literally have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's some more over there. The ones that I showed you over there, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, they are every single one of them. $30. So far, no luck. I haven't checked the price on the 97s yet. $40. <laughs> $40. I just noticed the off-white Jordans in the case. Uh, tag from here is looking a little suspect. And they want $500. I'm going to ask about these New Balance 990s, if you guys can see those from here. Uh, let's see how much they are. I just noticed they got some lubes over there for $200. The New Balances do look brand new. To be honest with you, they haven't made this stuff yet. We're gonna see how much they want for those. What's the color change too next week? 
Blue. Blue? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, so listen. I live like 40 minutes away. Could I do 40 for these today so you guys make an extra five bucks and I come tomorrow? I can't. Anything behind the Jewish center, I can't change. Even though it's one to 35 tomorrow? Why is that? Well, specifically back here because I don't price it. My manager does. She's the only one that can change it. Can I talk to her? She's not here on the weekend. And nobody I can talk to above you? Okay. Okay, I don't know how much of that you guys could hear. The New Balances were $70. And I asked her what color, cause today's Saturday, so the color changes tomorrow. And she said the color changes to blue and they were blue. I'm like we live close, like 35, 40 minutes away. It's not that close. Not that close. I asked her if they'd take 40 today, so they make an extra five bucks and I don't have to drive here tomorrow. And she wouldn't do it. And she said that the manager stuff, prices the stuff behind the counter and, and the manager's manager. not here, of course. That's worked before for us. It's, it has worked before. I just, I feel like the manager is there because she like kind of pointed to the back when she was saying the manager prices stuff. So I asked to talk to the manager. She said the manager's not here because that's a common strat. Shout out my mom because my parents when, when they ran the restaurant would tell people if anybody asked to speak to them that they were never there <laughs> so the manager was probably in the back i think i might just pop in here tomorrow morning it's gonna be an early morning but, oh great uh, it was an early morning this morning yeah so i, I think we might I, i'm gonna I'm insert a clip right here if i get them tomorrow morning all right so we just drove all the way back here um the next day this is the next day and uh well we got them they were half off so they were only 35 dollars so we got some new balance 990 v6s uh i'm gonna list these as brand new i think they're brand new they still got the tags on them uh so i'm hoping to get at least like 120 dollars for them since we were here we went we decided to look at the other stuff behind the counter and the um air max 95 anthracite somethings are they were 90 dollars but they were actually half off today too so we got these for 45 i I hope to sell these around 100 bucks, uh, maybe 90 to 100 dollars. So at least to double up on these, uh, another you know nice pair to pick up today. And then we picked up just a nice little pair of Keds. Got some rifle paper codes. They're only five dollars. This will probably turn into like 20 dollars after shipping and fees. So low investment, but you know they should sell decently quick if we price them low. They're kind of cute. They're really cute. Kind of cute, right? <laughs> we spent a total of uh, 90 dollars and 95 cents. And uh, well, that's it. Let's get back to uh, what we were doing yesterday. Okay. Oh, did I need to say something? Yep. Okay, we're here. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're rolling. I'm rolling, okay. Um, I found some nobles. They probably need to go through the washing machine to be honest, but they're only 13 bucks. I'm not seeing any damage. They got good tread on the bottom. Good condition. So $13 nobles, we got something after our last store that was in Cape Bus. Okay, Carly found a pair of shoes and she's too hungry to talk right now. <laughs> uh, some 574s. It's $15. We'll probably double our money, you know, $30 after fees. Uh, but they're just really clean. They're ready to list and it's a model that sells fast. The gray, like Castle Rock colorway always does well. So we're gonna grab these. All right, two stores left. I don't know, really know what to say. Because Carly, every I thought time... you were just gonna be like, we're here again. Yeah, we're here again. Carly, every time we pull up, she turns the camera on, points it at me. I'm trying to update. The so thing. we made it to another Goodwill. That's all I got to say. Carly really wants to enter her Skechers era, and I thought these were gonna be the perfect ones, but they are just a, a little too big for her. The purple, the sparkly, the purple, cheetah sparkly print. cheetah print, chunky. Like it's just <laughs> up her alley. Uh, yeah, so we found some LeBron witnesses. They are pretty dirty, but I think they can go through the. Uh, the washing machine. Well, now that I'm looking at it, they're pretty worn up here, and they're 20 bucks. So, never mind. Never mind. False alarm. Pretty cool find. These are some ray gun Converse. I'm passing on them because they got some heel drag. They're 15 dollars, and they're missing laces. But you know, still a cool pair. I could probably get 70 for them in really good condition, but I'm passing. The second store we're leaving empty-handed. Boo. <laughs> Oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> um, so I found a pair of HS Trask. Um, I don't know that I've ever, I think I might have only found this brand once before, but I know these go for good money. I'm going to double check this model uh, because they are $30, but they do include the shoe trees. So we get some nice nice wooden dress shoe trees. Uh, if you need some regular shoe trees, though, you know, <laughs> dailyandadult.com down in the description below. I don't know why I was putting this back on the shelf. Um, so we've got something. We're not going to, well, maybe. Got to double check. But I don't think we're going to strike out small size. Just spotted some Elkas. They are kind of worn on the bottom. They're $16. I'm going to think about these. I'm going to think about them. Also just snagged some Air Force Ones off the shelf that are surprisingly only $13.99. 
Uh, probably a good price. At least double our money. Six wide, so women's size seven and a half. Oh, they're my size. Yeah, but they're you can't have them. Cute. You can't. You can't steal from our sneaker verse series. <laughs> um, definitely gonna grab those. So we got something. Okay, another pair that I gotta look up. These Adidas Parley Ultra Boosts. Um, I can't imagine these going for a ton, but they are only seventeen dollars. And you know they've got some potential. Some of the Parley stuff does really well. I just sold some Forum high tops that were Parley for sixty dollars and. Forum highs usually don't go very much, so maybe, maybe those will be good. Surprisingly, the only pair that we're gonna get are these guys right here. Uh, apparently, HS Trask, their shoes aren't nearly as good as I thought. Their boots do okay, so find their boots, that's good. Um, I'd get these Hoka's if they were like 10, but for 16, I don't think I'm gonna pick them up in this condition. The Rincons aren't amazing or anything. And then the Parleys are selling for like $50 brand new for some reason, so only their Force Ones. And with that, that is going to be the last stop of today's video. As you know, we started the day with almost $400 in our sneaker collection fund, and we spent $220.58 of that on new inventory today, bringing that fund down to $178.80. The best find of the day was definitely those New Balance 990 V6s in the classic Castle Rock colorway. If those were my size, those would definitely be going in the collection, but unfortunately they were, a, they were men's size 14, so we're getting those listed and I'm sure those will sell for great money, especially with that $35 buy cost. That was a heck of a find. But speaking of the collection, let me know your thoughts on the top 10 list that I put together down in the comments section below. If there's anything you would have taken out, added in, whatever it is, let me know down in the comments section below. And if you've watched all the way to the end of this video and you haven't already hit the subscribe button below, make sure to go ahead and hit that and turn on the notification bell so you get notified next time an Into the Sneakerverse episode is uploaded. And if you hadn't yet got a chance to catch episode one, of season two, I'll put a thumbnail to that guy right here. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.